That fire has burned through about 4,200 acres, but some people have been allowed to return home that had been evacuated. Cal Fire says that they would not be able to get this ahead of the fire as they are now if it weren't for all the help that they're getting from the air. Fox 40's Gene Nguyen joining us now live from the Westover Amador County Airport with a look at some of the aircrafts used to fight this fire and how pilots are handling it from the air. Jeannie. Nikki and Eric, this airport is where all the helicopters used to fight the electrifier are based. And I'm going to step out of the way so you could see this actually has a really good vantage point so you could see the electrifier. Right now they're doing some backburns in that area. And the pilots I spoke with today say their goal is to put out the flames as quickly and safely as possible. This is a, a ex-military CH-47D helicopter, the Chinook. For the past seven years, Roger Caps has been a command pilot, and this week he's been helping fight the electrifier from the air. Contracted from Oregon, Caps is in charge of this helicopter that can hold 2,800 gallons of water. The pump, we can pump 50 gallons a second, so it takes us less than a minute to fill that tank. While each fire is different, Cap says a big part of being up in the air is finding the nearest water source, with this one being Lake Taboo. Wherever the fire is, we try to get the closest water source. That way we can make quicker turns and de deliver more water onto the fire. Now you can see the electrifier in the distance from right here at the Westover Amador County Airport where helicopters and Chinooks are all part of the firefight. For Metro Fire Pilot Bryce Mitchell, the goal is a little different during the electrifier as he's here to support the crews. Our uh, part of that is to be able to provide rescue standby for the other crews and uh, men and women that are working the line on this fire. All of this is important for Cal Fire as they need all the help they can get when fires quickly grow overnight. We got about 15 rotary wing aircraft and that ranges from large Chinooks that can carry multiple thousands of gallons of water all the way down to a type three helicopter that's used for recon missions. Even though the fight from the air is a major part in putting out the flames, Cal Fire says it would not be possible without the crews on the ground. You can't have one without the other. Now this airport is actually one of the many airports across the state that Cal Fire essentially takes over when there's a major fire. Live in Amador County, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.